all of the knowledge frames that we have from the past, we will move forward in understanding how we can analyze the data represented uh, to us by charts and how these data is actually holding a lot of details or secrets for us to analyze. So I'm sure the last section took you off by surprise when we saw so many things about you know how to ascertain a trend. Uh, in the last section, I was trying to more focus on understanding that these trends exist on a general basis. Every time the market is moving in a certain direction, it cannot be said that it's always moving you know, in all directions at all time. It cannot be possible. It's either moving up or down. And we saw that in trend analysis. That compiled with all of the knowledge frames that we have from the past, we will move forward in understanding how we can analyze the data represented uh, to us by charts and how these data is actually holding a lot of details or secrets for us to analyze. And let us try to understand the data representation and the data chart better in order to realize what it can help us with. We discussed a couple of details uh, you know, earlier about technical analysis and also mentioned that there are ways and uh, that you can represent these data structures that I'm talking about um, in you know different kind of candlesticks. I use Japanese candlesticks, you can use line charts or any other thing like I said. But while we discuss uh, more on how these data is represented, let us look at, uh, again, let us look at the charts and let's try to understand what kind of factors um, and important factors that we can recognize uh, you know, the, and, and they arise by themselves naturally on these chart patterns through the help of these candlesticks. What you can see on my screen right now is again a BTC USD chart and I've taken that on a daily basis. So you have two kinds of colored candles, one's a green candle and one's a red candle. So what I'm trying to make you understand right now and this is a daily chart. So let us just zoom in, all right, let's just zoom into a place. And we can see that a green candle represents that there was a bullish move on that day, which means it started at a lower price, it opened at a lower price, and then closed at a much higher price. And on the other hand, when you see these red candlesticks, all right, they actually opened at a higher price, and then they closed at a lower price. That's why it, it is represented by a red candlestick. Although it is just on a daily move, uh, trying to help us understand where it opened where it closed on a general tendency of what that move on that day was It might or might not affect our own trade positions and we can just keep on Understanding it not uh, trying to you know kind of find patterns in just that we need to find a cumulative pattern We need to find what happened Why was the candle if if there is a green candle that really really means there was some kind of a bullish move that day that means lesser people wanted to sell and more people wanted to buy, you know, in general. So what I mean by that is that, you know, going through a green candle, you need to understand that on that particular day, there was a bullish move, but whether or not will it continue further is, you know, a matter of chance. That's what we try to predict. So this also means that people who are buyers on that day, uh, on average, were in profit. And, uh, you know, and on a bearish day, you can say that the sellers, uh, you know, on an average were profitable. That's why this whole bullish and bearish move can arise, um, in, you know, in general. So let's, let's kind of move forward and understand the concept of open, high, lows and close that are depicted in a specific manner on a candlestick. What you really have to see here, uh, you know, at the bottom is, uh, you know, when we're talking about just this candlestick at the bottom is... Uh, you know open so let's just take this candle at the bottom is uh, you know is open um, here and uh, and on the upper uh, it's high but in general all right we will it will mean that this was a bearish candle because there's a red candle here so the open will be you know uh, higher right so it closed down here it opened down here but it closed down here the market is said to be in a bearish move for that particular day it is not about the trend but it's just about that particular day so, yeah, so now that we know that these patterns are actually telling us much more details than we actually know 
we know that there is four kinds of data that are represented on a general candlestick which is you know open close high and low open being the whole body which you can see so let's take a bigger candlestick let's zoom in further let's take this red one so as you can see that the data represented by just this candle on a daily time frame has an open of 35,000 something 468 has a close of 30,854 there was a dramatic move of $4,600 which means 13% it just fell in a day and you know as I again said uh, previously that cryptocurrency markets are highly volatile if you're really looking into investing and putting in your money then you should be really you know comfortable with having 10 20 30 percent drops that's how it is all right you'll be gaining 10 20 30 40 percent as well so you need to be really considerable that every move even on a daily basis as we, as we can see from this from this chart could be of that uh, magnitude of 13 percent it dropped like 4600 dollars just in a day from 35,000 to you know 30 or thousand dollars so as you can see that there's a small wick on the uh, beneath it and a very very small wick a tiny wick on, on on top of it but what we can see is that in general who would have made profits here someone would have shorted someone who would have been a seller would have made a profit on an average that is you know what we're trying to tell you that all you can see from you know from the body is that there was a sudden down movement that they were trying to go up the wick didn't let them go up and then it started going down that means there was a lot of selling pressure there was a lot of pressure from the sellers saying we want to sell at those prices we want to sell at those prices and the buyers couldn't really keep up buyers were happy because they were getting lower prices to buy so the market generally turned bearish traditionally it is you know just shown by you know these long wicks and then you know a, a, a trace back a retrace, retracement back showing that you know the market was trying to be forced down by bears couldn't really sustain came back up so just this candle expresses a lot of data everything that we you know see from the charts expresses a lot of data this is what we want to be careful about this is what we want to learn this is what we want to know because you will be seeing charts all day if you want to become a trading um, guru or a trading expert you got to be seeing charts all day it doesn't mean that you're always charts are always revealing to you but in general, if you have like a trading mindset, you want to make a position, you want to understand where the market's going, then these charts tell a lot of things. We'll also kind of understand what kind of, you know, patterns that arise from these charts that might be able to help you predict, uh, you know, in, a, uh, in, a, in, a, in an early manner, all right, much before maybe the other market participants uh, realize and you would want to take that trade. So what are these kind of reversal patterns that you can find or even continuity patterns that you can find from these charts? Where it says that, okay, fine, the higher highs and higher lows concept, that's for trend analysis. What if I want to tell you that you can find different, you know, uh, patterns from data that is represented on the charts, uh, especially these candlesticks. And sometimes these candlesticks can talk to you. So what are they really saying, all right? So as the name suggests that reversal patterns are used uh, to kind of recognize the direction of price and continuation of patterns that can exist and you can build your confidence while, uh, you know, taking that position. And the most popular reversal patterns uh, that generally exist are, you know, bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing and a morning star or an evening star. Now, as you could have seen on, uh, you know, on my left side, that all these patterns uh, have a certain way that they look. I can go all about how different candlesticks look. There's like many things that we discussed earlier as well, doji and, you know, hammer and, 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 and stuff like that. But the thing is that you need to see there's so many of these patterns. You need to, if you want to remember these or do you want to go by logic, that's totally your call. But there is so much data that is represented. And let us just take an example of what I just said earlier. If it was a bullish engulfing so in bullish engulfing there is a small you know red candle and just adjacent to that is a big red candle whose height uh, completely you know co covers the body of the previous smaller red candle if this is formed um, at the bottom of a trend then it is a strong sign that the price is gonna now go on an uptrend so there is a strong sign of a reversal 
Now what that means is that the previous red candle should be smaller, should, you know, entail in the body of the right bigger candle, all right, which is called a bearish engulfing. That means it was bearish, but now it's engulfing towards a much, uh, you know, different move than it was doing previously. If we want to see that in general, uh, let us try to find this on the chart because if we can do that, then in general, we will be able to find a reversal in the trend. So let's just find a downtrend. Okay, let's just find this uh, trend in general where we could find something like this. All right, so I think I found one. All right, so when you see this chart from May 2020, uh, then you will see that there was this, uh, you know, it was trying to go bearish. This whole movement is a daily cycle. So obviously I would want to uh, see this, uh, you know, May time frame. Let me just again go back. I think this is where it is. So if I want to see this, I, I'm recognizing this, but it's on a daily chart. If we want to, you know, you know, do this on a four hour basis on the same chart. Let me just go back to, uh, okay, this is April of what? Okay, 20, May of 20. So let's just zoom into a chart on May of 20. This is October and this is August, June, May. All right, so now we're in May and this is what we're trying to um, understand. So what happened is that the market was actually going downwards. So it had a lower low, uh, you know, here and then it again had here and then again had here and then ultimately just dropped down, uh, dropped down to, you know, massive, uh, like a complete 10%, you know, sell off. And then what happened is you can see that this small candle, the body of the small candle is engulfed in the body of the bigger candle. This is a major move. Obviously, if you could have predicted this move here when, you know, when it was already engulfing into the bigger right green candle, then you knew there was something on the charts. And if you would have actually bought in these prices, you could have made a 15% gain only in the short term, just in a matter of seven days, you could have made, you know, a big, big movement. Like how big was this movement? If you want to just analyze how big this movement was, then uh, you can see from, um, you know, just a, just a way that these movements were big enough. Sorry, I was selecting the wrong chart. Uh, then these movements were absolutely enormous and they were, around 20%. Now imagine like a 20% up movement just on a five day period. Only if we could understand what data was trying to tell us on the chart. So yes, for sure, when we see charts and we are ready to understand and accept them of what they are, they can show us a lot of value. All right, that was the bearish engulfing. There are ways that you can find out morning star and evening star. They're also complex, but you know, instead of two candles being involved in engulfing patterns, uh, morning and evening stars have three candlesticks involved. In the morning star, there is a large red candle which is followed by a gap down, uh, which is a small candle which could be of any color. By gap down, I basically mean that the opening price of the next day is below the closing price. And then there is a third big green uh, candle within the first red candle. All right, so I'm not going to show you that on a chart right now, uh, but what you understand is I've already shown you an illustrative graph. And if there was, uh, you know, so, uh, so if there is a big red candle followed by a gap down and then a candle of any color, and then there's a green bigger candle, which is well within the first red candle's body, if this again formed at the bottom, of the trend, it is a strong sign of reversal. So let's try to see that, all right? So what it means is that there was a big, uh, there was a big red candle. So I've actually found that on the chart right now. So let's just see that. So there's, there was this again down pattern happening in, uh, in June, 2020. And then we, so there was a general pattern which is going down and we would want to see if this was getting reversed. 
once it went through this big red candle and then there was a small you know uh, this could have been any this could have been red blue but this just a, a sitting candle it's, it's an idle move it's you cannot guess anything but then a strong move on the you know on, on, on the green side uh, you know really shows that there is it's still in the body but this is where the pattern is reversing right here all right this is what we need to see and all of these things start kind of emerging you know when when this th uh, things uh, start happening we can see another an another trend here you can see another trend here where it's kind of showing the same thing we can see another trend here this is very routine so morning stars and evening stars as you know uh, when patterns keep changing very strong side of trend reversal you got to be sure that you are looking at these charts and you're finding these you know wherever possible that's where the that's where you can make great gains that's what it is that's what we're here for so there are many patterns that you can find from data representations and i think that we have a lot of written element as well on this uh, on the dcx learn platform so you can we'll find those and attach those links you can read them in detail and i'm sure that we can understand a lot more about data representation and what kind of candlestick patterns that emerge uh, in general so that we can help you identify them whenever possible but being a great trader getting experience in the markets you will start experiencing these by yourself so let's move on and understand more kinds of you know uh, facilitation that we can get from uh, other indicators from the market and you know such as moving averages and others and see how we can use them in identifying our trades even before in a much con you know stronger conviction and and go through with that trades so if you would um, like to learn more about data representation then i'm you know i'm attaching a lot of links here that you can see same for trend analysis and technical analysis if you need any more information you're more than welcome to go back and and read all the written content that we've made available in much more detail this is the beginning for you as a trader and we would want you all the success so let's move on next to identify what kind of indicators that exist and use coin dcx trading platform to get them to know better see you in the next video